Yeah, you brought me here, eh? <laughs> it's sensational. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Jace, what is today's fishing challenge? Well, Jason, I know we've bought the boat and we love to fish out of the poly, but why don't we mix things up a little bit? Not everybody's got a boat. No. So today, why don't we do something a little bit land-based? Land-based? So we're going to ditch the boat, grab the gear and go for a walk. It's the bottom of the tide. There's a good chance of a flathead. I'm going to fish a plastic. I don't know what you're going to fish. Well, if you're fishing plastics, I'm fishing hard bodies. That's just a pretty simple equation. You soft, I'm hard. I think one of us goes one way, one of us goes the other. We're going to jump on the phone the second we catch a fish to the other guy, and we're going to let them know. We're going to have a bit of a brag because we'll be the winner of the challenge. Let's go. Fishing challenge is on. It's game on. Let's go. Snuck off going this way, heading up in a different direction to Jace. Once that once that tide's turned and the fish the fish have left the mangoes, all the little bait fish have been forced out into the main channels. It's a perfect time to get on foot and get out and walk and uh, chase a few flathead. Now what we've got, where I'm fishing here, we've got a little creaky dribbling in back into the main area, and it means all the little fish that were swimming around in that creek at high tide. Are going to have to pass across this little shallow sand flat to make it to the channel, the main channel over there. So it's an ideal ambush spot for the old flathead. I'm throwing a little hard body lure that matches just a bait fish profile. And uh, I wind it down and I'm doing a bit of pausing and a bit of moving. And I'm casting it up the current because the flathead will actually sit facing the current because anything that's getting washed along and out of those, uh, that creek now is uh, basically going to be delivered to that flathead like a, uh, a menu on, a, on the old uh, the board. What's going to happen is the food's going to get washed past him and he's going to dart up out of the sand, grab it, and he's out his meal. What I'm trying to do is get him to dart up and grab my lure. So I'm gonna, the way I'm working my lure, I'm making it look a sick and wounded, and I want that flathead to be able to spot my lure instead of those uh, darting um, bait fish. So we want my lure to be on its uh, main menu. The idea is to get my lure hard onto the bottom. I'm using a little hard body diving lure with a nice deep bib. It's about four or five foot out there coming back up to, to no feet, obviously, because I'm standing on the bank. And I want my little hard body lure banging on the bottom, letting that flathead know there's something around that looks a bit wounded and sick and he can come and eat. And you'll see I'm doing a lot of flicks and stops and starts. And, and that's to let those flathead know and, and shake those flathead up, get them moving and uh, let them know that what I'm offering them is going to be a bit easier to eat than a, than a real healthy bait fish swimming past. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty keen. I reckon we'll get one here. It's just a matter of getting those casts in, getting, them, getting that lure down to the bottom. While Jace was fishing hard to be the first to catch a flathead, so was I. And I'd found a fishy piece of water of my own. I was firing out casts with my soft plastic and I was keen to nail the first fish. This is the lure that I've chosen for the flatty challenge. It's just a little power bait shad. I'm just going to be tossing this out and hopping it back close to the bottom because that's where the flathead live. The flathead are going to be buried down in the sand and they're ambush feeders. So what that means is they're going to be hiding down there, blending in, camouflage with their surroundings and a little bit of bait fish or a prawn, something's going to go past them and they're just going to pounce on it. So I'll show you exactly how to keep that lure in the zone. So I'm just going to take my little shad, it's rigged on an 8th ounce jig and I'm going to fire out a long cast over the fishy looking area where I think the fish are, let it go to the bottom, it doesn't take long in 3 or 4 foot of water and a shaky hop just to pop him up off the bottom, back to the bottom and another one of those shaky hops. So each time that I'm doing that hop, that lure's just bouncing up and always going back to the bottom where the flatties live. After you've done a few hops or experimented with a few hops, it doesn't hurt just to swim that bait a little bit. Just trying to keep it just off the bottom, give it a pause to go back to the bottom, and then swim it again. So just do some of that winding again, just swim it, pause it, swim it. Oh, there's a little bite. 
pulls it again. Oh, he's picking it up off the bottom. See if he takes it here. Oh, I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. I've oh, I just missed that one. I might have to experiment. It might actually pay to change lures. I know I told Jay, so I was going to fish the little soft plastic, but it may actually pay to change to a hard body. So I'm going to try a hard body. I know it's a little bit sneaky. It wasn't what we agreed to, but what he doesn't know, it's not going to hurt. I'm pretty sure, I reckon there's a few flathead in this little area. Just with the, just with the bait fish action and the way the contours are here. I've, I've, I've persisted with the, uh, this little white flicker shade for a while. What I'm going to do now, I reckon is I'm going to go to a gold, a darker lure. The, uh, the water is crystal clear, it's really clear. So it's, um, it's something the fish are going to have plenty of visibility. And I think um, going to a darker lure, and scooting it across the bottom might be just just the trick and the change I might need. So if you if you're fishing pretty hard and you think you're fishing in areas where you know there are fish and you're not getting any any action, it's no use. Keep on doing the same thing. I have in fact the tiniest little flathead. It's no bigger than the lure. I just followed that one up. I wonder if I could get that one to bite. Wouldn't that wouldn't oh he spotted it again jason would absolutely freak out it was about four inches long and there he goes all right i'm still going to change I'm, I'm i'm quite adamant i think i'll, I'll get a, a better contrast with a darker colored lure a little loop knot in my leader to attach my lures because it gives them more of a, um, a, a free run. It lets them s swivel around when I'm trying to make them work and dance rather than using heavy clips. And we're ready to go. That hasn't taken very long to do a change. So sometimes people won't change because they think, oh, I've got to tie a lure on and change a lure. But if I cast that out in the next 10 minutes and catch a fish, that minute or two taking my time to change that lure works out a treat and well worth the investment. When we're fishing, we always like to play a little joke. So I've got the phone out, haven't even caught a fish, but I'm going to give Jace a call. Here we go. Let's see what he says. <laughs> it's ringing. Oh no. That couldn't possibly be who I think that possibly is. Uh, it is, I can see him on the phone. Mr. Ehrlich, have you got what I think you've got? <laughs> no, no, mate. I was just seeing if my phone was working. Just, just tricking you. Yeah, great, mate. I'm in a hurry here, mate. I've got fish to catch, eh? Ha! <laughs> you clown! <laughs> oh, another bite. Jeez, I've been getting heaps of these little bites, but they're just not hooking up. I know the fish are there. Maybe it's time for a change. Yeah, so I'm going to have a lure change. I know I told Jay, so I wasn't going to fish a hard body. That I was going to fish a soft plastic. But I think that the hard body with those little tiny treble hooks, a little hard body, something similar in size to this to imitate a small bait fish, might be the trick. So I'm going to uh, get, get into my backpack and grab one out. There's the change I've made. I've gone from that tiny plastic to this little 3B fat dog deep crankbait. I'm thinking that if there's a small fish out there, I don't need a big flathead to win this challenge. All I need is one fish. I'm thinking if there's a little fella out there, he might scoff this down. Might be just what it takes to get a bite. Let's give it a go. right over the spot where those fish have been biting. That current's just going to take that little crankbait right into the spot. A bit of luck, it'll be game. Game on! There we go! Well, he's not, not big, but, oh yeah, head shakes, head shakes. I can feel head shakes there. I think it's a flathead. A bit of luck. It's coming in pretty easy. Here it comes. It is a flathead, it is a flathead. I thought it was something smaller. He's only a baby. 
There he comes. Just going to lead him up the bank. I don't uh, want to lift him in. I'm just going to drag him up onto the sand. I don't have any chance of popping him off because it's the right species. And finally, we've got a flatty. He's gobbled up this little tree beef fat dog deep. It's a little tiny lure, little tiny lure, little tiny fish. I'm glad I made that change earlier on. I don't think I'll be telling Jace I made that change, but it, it really paid off. There's the fish, there's the proof of the pudding. Little hard body did the trick. Pop this guy back in the water. Jeez, mate. Oh, fresh. Away you go. Oh, there's only one more important thing to do, and that's the bragging. Let him know that I've got my fish first. I hope he's not hooked up too. Yeah, hello. Nah, no, I'm not kidding you this time. I did get one. It's only a small fish. Yeah, it was a small flatty. Yep, just before, only five minutes ago. Right, I'll see you back at the boat. On the way back to the boat, I stopped at a few places that looked just too good to walk past without firing a cast in first. And I knew Jace would be doing the same thing. Come here, buddy. We both wanted a big flatty, but those big fish were being tricky. It just seemed to be a day for small fish. Jeez, it's just not the day for big flathead today. That's another little fish. There you go, buddy. Jeez, they blend in well. Nice, away he goes. Well, it has been a pretty tough day today for catching flathead. I suppose a couple of little ones is better than no flathead at all. At least there was some action. And I did get quite a few bites to keep me interested. So it wasn't a total loss. I wonder how Jace went. Well, it's not a very big flathead, but it's a flathead. Pull him up there, nice and easy. Look at you, little guy. There we go. That's a nice wide underbelly of the flathead. We'll just give him a little flip over there. Oh yeah, he's ready to go. It's been a great little uh, entertaining time. A little hard body did it for me today. I stuck to the hard body at least. So what we're gonna do, we might, uh, I might go and catch up with Jason, see how he went. He did ring me before and let me know that uh, he's the man. So we might go and see how he went. How'd you go? How'd I go? I actually caught a flathead, Jase. Did you really? I did. They... Big one? Did you get a big one? Oh, mate, I reckon the one I got hasn't even had his first birthday. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> oh, he was small ass. Oh, they were small today, I think mine were, you know, they're only that big. Wow. I'm not were... going to stretch them. Oh, right. okay, they were that, no, they were, <laughs> they were only that big. They were small, weren't they? Well, you can only catch the fish that are there. We managed to do that. Yep. Challenge is? Catch a flathead, land-based. We completed the challenge. What's that? Challenge completed. <laughs>